Hi there. In this session, we will learn to write Hello World program in Java. A Hello World is a simple program that outputs Hello World on the screen. Since it's a very simple program, it's often used to introduce a new programming language to a newbies. Let's get started. As I discussed in my previous sessions, I will be using Eclipse IDE for entire Java development course. I just have freshly launched this Eclipse and stands for this batch. I will just go to File, New. Have you ever a lot more options to create the project, but I don't want to create any maiden of the project. I just wanted to create a simple Java, cool Java projects. I'll go to Others option. Here I will look for the option See Java Project. In a moment I will talk about Java, I'll write Java, I'll get the Java Project option here. I'll name this project as Java Fundamentals. You can see that it is automatically getting the Java Standard Edition environment that's installed in my machine. You can change it if it's not the right one selected. Chick is in my case. I'll just say next and finish. This will ask to create module in Java file to store the meta information about your project. I don't want to create that, so I'll simply say don't create and open the Java perspective. You can see it will open it up. I will explain you about it two minutes later. Here the Java fundamental project is created successfully. The moment you will extend it. Here we have SARC folder under which all the Java programs needs to be returned. As I said, it's a hello world program. I will simply go to SARC. I will just simply right click on it and add a new class file. I'll name this class as hello world. That is there's option to add the package. I will be writing a basic as a package name. A6 is nothing but a folder will be created under the SARC, so I can segregate multiple concepts in different packages. As of now, but packages has different aspects which also helps in segregating the piece of code as per the concept or also modularizing the application context. Also helps in getting the accessibility to the code, whether you wanted to access the code from one package or not. I will tell you each and everything one by one ahead. As of now I'm creating this package name as basics. Under this a class hello world will be created. You can see that there is a basic folder created. Under this package I have a class hello world. Just give me a minute. What next needs to be done is, this is the basic hello world class created. Under this I'm going to add a main method. Main is the entry point of a program. You can use a shortcut. Just simply write main and use control space to get the remediation. And here is the main method there. I would like to print my output here that is system out printing. Writing here the hello world message. Simply right click anywhere in this piece of code run as Java application. Here is the hello world message gets printed. How and what is the piece of code is being written. As I said, it's a Java Hello World program. We are starting with the class Hello World. In Java, every application begins with the class definition. Hello World is the name of the class, and that's the class definition in which we have a main method. This is the main method. Every application in Java must contain the main method that's known as an entry point of the program. The Java compiler starts compiling the program from main method, and that's the one line gets executed. You can see that your main method is public, static, void, and main. Although we will learn about all these things in our upcoming session. This is the basic main method, which is the static does not need any instance to create, will not return anything. That's what it's void. It's public because without invocation it's being accessed by the jump to load your class onto the jump. There is a statement that you can see here, system out print and to print the standard output onto your screen, system is that class out is the object and the print is the method inside it. That prints hello world message or whatever you wanted to write it up. Every valid Java application must have a class definition that matches the fighting. That's the point that you can remember here. 
For example, if the class name public class is public and its name is mentioned here, the file name should be same hello world, hello world in which you have a main method, in which you don't have a main method that class not to be public and the file name not the same. The main method must be inside the class definition and the class has to be public. The compiler executes the code starting from the main method. This is the takeaway from this hello world. I hope the concept is pretty clear to all of you. Stay tuned to learn more about Jetta practical implementations. See you in the next session. Until next time, stay tuned. Thank you.